Hello everybody, thank you for joining me again. Today I am going to be talking about the number seven beauty vault, which my grandma very kindly bought for me so that I could talk about it on the blog. They say that you get 30 pounds worth of makeup, uh, 99 pounds worth of makeup for 30 pounds. Um, and on the box it has a note saying, worth value based on price per milliliter or gram of standard size product and all products when purchased separately. So, in the box you get um, some cleansers and some nail polishes and some makeup bits and also a primer which is really really lovely. So I'll just talk about each of the products and what I think of them. I've used the makeup on my face so if you like any of the products I'm wearing, they are all number seven today. Um, my eyebrow pencil and my concealer are also number seven, but they didn't come in this box. So, firstly I would like to talk about the Dramatic Lift for the Ultimate Wide Awake Look Mascara. I hope that focuses for you. Um, I generally am not a fan of number seven mascaras. I don't think they're lengthening enough, but I was really pleasantly surprised by this one. Um, it's a little pasty when you first put it on, but a second or third coat is fine and eliminates that problem. And I think it looks really good. I really like it. I'm very happy with that. So next up we have the Instant Illusions Airbrush Away Primer. I have another Airbrush Away Primer from number seven that is not the Instant Illusions one. And I actually prefer it because it's a lot more lightweight than this one. This one's quite a thick cream that you put on. Um, hope you can see that. But it is still very refreshing and it's nice to have a layer underneath your foundation to protect your skin from drying out um, and also I feel like it protects you from spots at least it seems to do that with me so yeah I'm pleased with that product um, then we have the number seven stay perfect amazing eyes pencil in bronze um, I already have two of this pencil in this colour um, from other boxes and the advent calendar that I had. Um, I don't know if you can see it on my eyelid, it's a very subtle bronze colour which is really nice in the summer actually. So yeah, I'm, I do really like this although I'm not sure I really need three of them. Next we have the uh, Lovely Lips Lip Balm in Parisian Pink. Um, this is actually very, very moisturising and it gives a good colour as well because I find a lot of tinted lip balms do only one or the other. So I'm really pleased with that. I think I'm actually going to try some of the other colours of this as well. They do three colours, I think. Not sure what the other ones are, but I will try them, I think. I like that a lot. We also have the number seven gel finish nail varnish. I've got the shade Bluebell, but I think by the looks of the box, see they've got an orange one and a grey one in the picture. I think it's a bit random which colours you get, but I really like this colour. I really rate number seven gel finish nail polishes anyway. I have a lot that I've bought just because I like them. Um, and I think that's a really pretty summery colour. I'm excited to use that. I also got it in Moon Shimmer, which is quite a nice, a, well, not really subtle because it's sparkly, but yeah, nice colour. I like that. We'll go with most things. Um, then we have the Perfectly Bronzed Mosaic Bronzer. I already had the Match Made Bronzer in shade maple I think and I always use it for contouring because I really like that it's not too dark and this was really great as well I think especially in the summer months 
it's nice to just put a little bit of brown on your cheeks to make you look a bit more tanned really and on your collarbones maybe yeah I really like that I'm really happy with that so next we have the Radiant Results Revitalising Cleansing Wipes um, I've just tried one of these actually to take off the remains of yesterday's makeup and I also tested it on an eyeliner that I put on my hand and it was very very effective not quite so gentle on my eyes as I usually like but um, very good and I like that it's got one of these sealable tops because when it's just a sticker it comes off so easily and then all your wipes dry out and it's a nightmare so I recommend those I think they're good but not if you've got sensitive skin um, we also have the revitalizing micella cleansing water um, this was also very very effective at taking off the sample of makeup that I tried on my hand um, it was a lot more gentle as well um, it says suitable for sensitive skin I did oh they both say suitable for sensitive skin but that's not what I found with the wipes but yeah I liked that a lot it comes out as a pump rather than pouring which is nice because it's more easy to control how much you want to use and yeah I just I really like that I'm excited to try that a bit more I always rate their cleansers actually I had another one I can't remember what it was called but it was a different one than that one in my advent calendar and I really love that that's one of the best cleansers I've ever used oh I've got a little friend here so lastly we have the revitalizing foaming cleanser which comes out of the pump as a foam like this um, it's not quite as effective for removing makeup but it's very very gentle on your skin so I can imagine that will be lovely after a long day at work to freshen up and it smells really good Mm, yeah very refreshing so that was everything in there um, yeah I think this box is definitely worth getting because you do get your money's worth really well more than your money's worth um, I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please hit like or even subscribe um, and I'll see you soon bye